Good day, everyone. We are the Bagenhan Chemists. Today, we are going to discuss one of chemistry's most interesting topics. Life is all about finding the right balance. You might consider our well-adjusted resume, balancing our school and hobby lives, and planning our budget and expenses. However, there are numerous factors that can throw that balance off. Equilibrium is the scientific term for balance. In chemistry, there are several things that may happen in a chemical reaction. When reactants react to form products, it is what we call the forward reaction. Sometimes, there are reactions where products change back into reactants. It is what we call the reverse reaction. And when they occur at the same time, it is called the chemical equilibrium. This mechanism was summarized by Henri Louis Le Chatelier, who was a French chemist born in 1850. The principle states that the system readjusts to partially counter the effect of the change in concentration, temperature, and pressure, resulting in a new equilibrium. Have you seen a person hyperventilating? It is also known as respiratory alkalosis. The carbon dioxide concentration in the blood is reduced and the bicarbonate equilibrium shifts to the left. Respiratory acidosis is caused by the reverse process. This causes the equilibrium to shift to the right. The hydronium concentration increases and the pH drops. Before we discuss the next application of the principle, let us know what are the chemical reactions regarding temperature. If it is exothermic, heat is considered a product of a reaction. If it is endothermic, heat is considered a reactant. If the temperature is increased, the heat of the system increases, causing the equilibrium to shift to the other side. If the temperature is decreased, the equilibrium moves to the other side. In other words, the system compensates for the reduction in temperature by favoring the reaction that generates heat. That is the end of the block. No! There is one last thing to consider. Pressure. When we look at the equation for Haber process, for example, four moles of gas react to form two moles of gas. So, the forward reaction increases the volume while the reverse reaction increases it. Increasing pressure will put stress on high volume reactants than low volume products, so the reaction shifts to the right, fusing together to produce more ammonia. Decreasing the pressure has its opposite effect. The reaction proceeds to the direction that raises the pressure where it was before. 